perfect Nothing to rearrange Sometimes you just Get a feeling like you need Some kind of change It's Bolt Logic, and today we are doing Intro Logic. So, it's but introductory to introductory <laughs> logic. We get two intros here. Okay. So, we're covering logic, the three laws, deduction, induction, and... Reasoning. Reasoning, and also um, formal and informal logic. Those terms that you need to know, the very foundations of logic. So, without further ado, let's, let's get, get started. started. The first thing we're going to talk about is logic. Yes. Leah, what is logic? So, logic is the science and art of reasoning well. It's pretty self-explanatory, but, but you may ask, what is reasoning? That's why I'm here. So, we're going to start out with a basic example. I like turtles. Turtles. Got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. All right. You're gr turtles. are at Subway. Okay. Therefore, are on subway. I will like like subway. Subway. This is an example of reasoning. Reasoning because you know that you like turtles and there's turtles at subway so you're like you know what i probably will like subway that is your reasoning in that now logic of course is a science and art of reasoning well that's something that you need to know down in your brain what logic and reasoning is so we're going to be talking about the three laws the first law is the law of excluded middle this law states if any statement is true or false which means you can't if you like turtles then you like turtles but you can't be like, I like turtles and I hate turtles because that doesn't make sense. So any statement You either like turtles or you don't like turtles. That's basically what it's saying. Yes. Don't overthink this. This is just fundamental. The next one is law of identity. The law of identity states if a statement is true, then it's true. If it's true that you like turtles, then it's true that you like turtles. Doggone it. So you but if you hate turtles, then you hate turtles. It's that simple. It's pretty simple right yep. there. Okay. Then we have the law of non-contradiction. A statement cannot be both true and false. It cannot be true that you like turtles and, and that, that you, you don't, don't like turtles. <laughs> That's important to know. Very important right there. All right, now we're going to talk about formal and informal logic. Formal logic deals with proper modes of reasoning. So how to reason properly. As um, So we don't really have an example. That's pretty basic for that. Um, informal logic deals with operations of thinking that are indirectly related to reasoning. So, we don't really cover informal logic in this book, but informal logic would be like, they're just, it's kind of more like, uh, not fallacies, but they're just not directly tied into drawing conclusions from proper information. All right, now we are going to talk about induction and deduction. Jess, do you mind explaining that to us? Um, sure. One sec. So, deduction is reasoning with certain premises, with certainty. certainty. Yeah. With certainty, two premises, two conclusions. So basically, you would need two premises, which I think you'll get more into this in lesson one. But a premise is a statement that is either true or false and um, goes before the conclusion and it supports it. There's two. And so you could say, I like turtles. Um, turtles are cool. And um, then you would be like, therefore, I like cool turtles. Yeah. And so that would be like um, deduction. So you have certainty that you love turtles and you have certainty that the conclusion is going to be true. Um, right, now, let me give you an example of induction. Um, induction. Induction is an educated guess. Probability from examples or experience to general rules. An example would be this one. 
I like turtles. Turtles are at Subway. Therefore, I will like Subway. This is not certain because you don't know if you like Subway. You know, you may not like marinara sauce or whatever they put on their stuff, but that's okay. <laughs> but you're assuming, you're guessing, it's an educated guess that since turtles are going to be at Subway, that you, you are, are going to love Subway. Subway. <laughs> um, I think that is it for this lesson. So, um, this oh, was just a, a brief intro. Oh, syllogisms, yes. So, syllogisms are two premises and a conclusion. So, basically, they can be true or false, depending, and valid or invalid, depending on what the premises are and what the conclusion is. You don't really need to know that right now. Just focus on um, the three laws, logic, definition, and, and reasoning. reasoning, definition, and induction and deduction, and also um, informal and formal. That's not really as important, but still. You're good. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, make sure you, there's no exercise for this one, but highlight and make flashcards. And um, really helps. Make sure that you make flashcards each lesson because you don't want to get behind because that happened to me and it was very stressful. So make sure that you make them for each lesson. Yeah. yeah. And um, as a rule of the thumb, um, only make definitions for stuff in the margin because it says little definite here, I'll show you. It says definitions, and then there's like key points. So for the notes, you want to put like key points and definitions. There's like little definitions here. Definitions, key points if you need to. And then um, I'll give you some words in here that may be unfamiliar. They're not terms, but they're new words. Um, ethical, having to do with ethics, which is the study of standards of conduct and moral judgment. As important to know because logic ties a lot in with ethics. It may not be per se named ethics, mm -hmm. but it ties in with it. Triune, consisting of three, usually referring to the Trinity. Yep. Assert, to declare, affirm. Discourse, talk, conversation. Hash, a muddle, mess. Mutual and common, done together. And premise, we already went over that. A previous statement serving as a basis for an argument. you learn more about the technical form of an argument later, but as again, just focus on the fundamentals of the list. Yes. So... So this is not a real lesson, this is just the intro, but it's um, important. It's very important to know this because without knowing this, you won't really understand logic. So Alright guys, please like and subscribe and comment. Um always check some more random videos. Bolt random, really cool. Anyways, <laughs> um enjoy this bolt logic video. So uh yeah. what's up, bros? Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>